Hi friends, you are with me Anuradha from learningmilestone.com and in this tutorial today we will be learning a simple program using different python concepts and the program name is guess the word. So what it is all about, so what we will be doing in program, we will be having certain categories, let's say fruits, subjects or color or sports and the program should be giving user these categories and then ask user to guess a word okay which is randomly generated by computer let's see how it should work finally when it is created all right so i have already got one ready program just to indicate how the program should be performing or what output it should be giving once it is ready by the way i am on rappel editor and uh, it's a quick way quick and efficient way to get set started with programming and not to worry about so many installations or setting up environment on your machine and in case you prefer to do all uh, uh, coding on the locally set up editor that's perfectly fine or any editor is perfectly fine let's get into this and this program is inspired from one of the Udemy course which I like very much which is Art of Doing by Mr. Michael. So let's see the output when the program is ready. Okay so as I run this program it gives me following output. Welcome to the guess my word app. Clearly we don't need to think about it we need to throw a print statement and it will be done. Then Let's see what this has. It says, guess a six letter word from the following category, colors. So I have few categories defined in my code, colors, sports, fruits, and uh, subjects, okay, classes. Now, each of these category has few of the words belonging to those categories. Let's say for colors, we can have red, yellow, green, whatever, right? Now, this code randomly picks that category and a random word associated with it and counts the number of letters in that word right so we can guess might be we need to use dictionary in this so that we can have categories and several um, words associated with that category and computer needs to randomly pick that so it should we should be using some random module help uh, to pick the random things from colors or this okay okay now it throws this to user and we as a user know that it is colors and it is a six letter word so let's just try to guess green that's not correct let's reveal a letter to help you and if we notice closely there is these dashes which are a number is same as the number shown over here let's say six letters so six dashes and when the user attempt is not right they fill one of the dashes with the word with any of the letter belonging to that word at the right position so I don't get it so let's try purple maybe and it says correct you guess the word in two guesses would you like to play again let's say yes I'm encouraged guess a six letter word from the following fruits okay is it apple I don't know if it is six letter so that's not correct it says let us reveal a letter to help you I don't get it that's not correct okay okay that's not correct okay let me think okay so it says correct you guess the word in four guesses would you like to play again no I'm discouraged now so no thank you for playing the game so that's how this program should work and uh, I hope you must have figured out what kind of logic could be implemented over here what all concepts of Python can be involved here definitely I can see a while loop in this so uh, let's try to make a guess what all concepts should be used in this program before we go ahead and start building it I'm sure you must have figured by now the concepts which would be used in this program and these must be your guesses while dictionaries random if else if and um, list and our beloved f string so what are we waiting for let's head back to our editor and let's get started so i'll open raplet click on plus create a apple Select my template as Python, name my REPL, 
guess the word okay the one uh, create wrapper All right, let me go to this output. Welcome to the Guess My Word app. Okay. So let's first print that. Welcome to the My Guess My Word app. Perfect. And now we need to have a dictionary. Okay. And let's say I have a dictionary called guess underscore dict right or let's say game underscore dict equal to and we know that dictionary works in this way that we have curly braces and then we have some key and then we have value corresponding to it let's say I have a key called name okay and I have a value I know perfect right this is how dictionaries work now this dictionary can be um, a list also right so when it is list it has multiple values again in square brackets separated by comma right so Joe and anything okay Ahmed okay anything anything so this comes over here now what we need to make we need to make our dictionary which, which has some categories as I said color colors colon and then there are some colors in the list we'll put them later and then there's a category called sports then we have their values again as a list because we have multiple sports then our category was fruits so I'll again put colon, square brackets and then I'll place my list of fruits over here and similarly let's keep the last one and classes or subjects okay and then I'll place maths, English something something over here. So let fill the, let's fill these list elements first and then we'll move back. So let's say I'll fill green, yellow so I'll just move forward this video skip this part and let's create a quick dictionary so I have created this dictionary right you can fill the things of your choice so sports sports is having basketball baseball soccer football something something colors then we have colors then we have fruits we have classes so we have a dictionary in curly braces each is a category is a key and the values are the words belonging to that categories in the form of list okay let's move next so as we saw in this our next thing was that we should to give this sentence to give present this sentence to the user and this sentence should have these things guess a six letter word from the following category right so category is randomly chosen and the word belonging to that category is randomly chosen okay so let's think how we can do that so let's say I have to pick a word from game underscore dict print and let's say I have to pick a color any color so belong so how can I do that I'll give the dictionary name and then I'll put the key name right and not this is not the key name colors is the key name and uh, when I'll print this it will return me the whole value belonging to that key right and if I want to pick any of these values this is again a values a list I should be supplying some index let's say I want to pick yellow I'll give one right counting starts from zero one like that so yellow has index one it should return me yellow now the same thing we need to do in random manner we need to randomly pick the category and then out of that randomly pick the index so how we can randomly pick the category first of all let's import random module right we have been using this word so many times 
import random and now how can I randomly pick category from this dictionary how about first having all the categories in a list right so I should be looping through this dictionary picking up the keys and appending them some in some blank list which I initially created so let's create a blank list first okay so I'll create a game underscore category equal to and let's say we have an empty list and what I want to have in this game underscore category is the name of all the categories for that I have to loop through the dictionary right for key in what's the dictionary name game underscore dict okay so let me just print key for now for the sake of clarity I'll just comment out this we don't need it anymore so let's run this welcome to my uh, the guess word and we are able to fetch the keys which are categories but we do not need to print it we need to append that these categories in this game underscore category so what we should be doing we know the method that is list name dot append correct and what we need to append is the key which is each time when we are running once it is sports colors and so on let's finally print game underscore category all right let's run this and we have the list ready now any guesses how do we pick a random element from any list yes if you have chosen is right it is random dot choice so let's just print it first random dot choice and in that we pass the list name so what is my list game underscore category so let me just comment this out again we don't need it so I'll run it mm -hmm. uh, Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be putting these square brackets. Okay. Okay. So if I run this, it gives me sports. If I run it again, it gives me color. Sports. Fruits. Okay. It's perfect. So we can maybe save this instead of printing it. We can save it in a variable. Let's say my category. Okay my category equal to okay so once we have this my category in place we can pass uh, this my category in the dictionary key value to fetch values associated with the category or key so let's say I do print dictionary name and and then I pass this randomly chosen category and let's see so we know that the values are list right so again to randomly pick any value from this list we we'll, should be using or we can use the make use of the same method so let's do that so if I have to do this I will simply say random dot choice and in bracket I'll pass this right effectively I'm passing list so I'll get one single value right colors gold fruit strawberry and sports curling right so let me now instead of printing it save it in a word which we won't reveal to user and you ha user has to guess this but what message we have to give to user you have to give this message to user let me just copy this I'll paste it over here inside print statement and now I need to replace these two values I'll be making use of f string so that these variables here can be manipulated 
so there are two variables number of letters in a word and the category right so we already have this category stored in my underscore category and uh, here we need to find the length of the word right number of characters in the word and how can we do that using len method and passing the string to it so our game underscore word is a string and we want to count the number of letters in the string right so we'll pass this over here and why it is giving me okay there are double curly braces okay still i have a red line i know why because one circular bracket is missing okay i hope it is fine now okay so let me run this and see if we are able to get the correct message from the user okay guess a 11 letter word from the let me just make it big now um let me delete it okay so let's see if we get the correct message guess a seven letter word from the following category again i run it guess a eight letter word from the following category sport so perfect so we, it is just perfect till this point and we do have to give this same number of dashes as that of letter right word so we can argue that we can simply give it in the form like giving dash into and then we can pass len of word yep that should work but that is not sufficient let's see we'll get that but what the problem over here is we need to replace these dashes right and to replace these dashes these should be individually readable and how can we replace individual dashes by putting each dash as an element in the list so let's do that so instead of this what we will do for we'll create another um, empty list okay and again we'll run a for loop through this list okay for and how many times we'll run for let's say i in range we'll run this many times the number of letters in this word okay and what we'll do we will append in this blank underscore word list the dash okay so i'll make use of append method and i'll do this let's print blank underscore word not like this print blank underscore word let's see what we get now we do get this but we do not want to output in this manner so what should we be doing at this point of time instead of uh, outputting this list as it is what we can use do we can make use of join method where we can join the elements of the list together by a character so we want eventually this result right so we need to show this to users so instead of this what we can say let's see we want to join them at none of the character right so what we'll simply say dot join blank underscore word right so let's see what we get we get this right so three letter word three dashes but the beauty over here is that we can replace these dashes so what is this join keyword actually doing join a method if i pass let's say dollar over here right so what will happen elements of the list are dash 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 and i want to join them whatever belongs to blank underscore word by this right so we'll get that character but right now we do not want any character we simply want these dashes so i'll just keep it empty um, and so we'll get this result perfect all right now now is the time we need to ask user right 
guess word and we should be checking finally that whether this guess word is same as game underscore word right remember we eventually uh, extracted one random word from the dictionary right belonging to random category so we need to check this also we need to check keep track of in how many counts in how many guesses user has guessed right so uh, we should keep on asking user right until user doesn't answer the correct thing so like this enter your guess that's not correct and if you can see i'm also telling how many guesses are done right so i have to enter uh, ask this enter your guess right so what i'll do i'll create two variables one is guess is equal to let's keep it empty and the other is to keep track of in how many counts in how many guesses user has um, guessed the right thing and since we need to keep on asking user right till the time user answers correctly so we have a condition right and we will be running conditional loop which is while and what is our condition that while guess is not equal to game underscore word right run this loop run what ask user guess is equal to input so input is a method right With the help of which we will ask user slash and is to just to go into next line so input i'm sorry copy paste doesn't work enter your guess okay so user will enter and what i also want to make sure that i don't know what case user will enter whether it be low or upper and i cannot just get compare it with everything so i'll just make sure that i convert it into lower case and i'll be comparing it with lower case right because my uh, dictionary has words which are all in lower case i can simply compare over here right now uh, while guess is not so we have taken uh, input from user guess and what we have to compare at this point of time if guess is equal to uh, what's that game underscore word right we'll say um let's say we print what we are printing um correct you guess the word in this okay so i'll just copy this so we'll print of course i need a f string over here to manipulate few variables correct you guess the word in guess underscore count so what we are doing over here we are increasing let's say guess underscore count not here actually we need to increase it every time user is making guesses by plus equal to one right and if the user correct uh, guesses right i'll say you guess the word in um, guess underscore count and i should exit out of loop at this point of time and to exit out of this condition i have a keyword called break else let's pass else right now i'm not interested in else so i'll just pass it okay okay so what i'll do i will also do some cheating over here i'll just print game underscore word just to check my uh, code is working fine right so i'll not make a guess i'll just print it up. okay i'll just enter whatever user computer has guessed okay so let's run this so i know history is the answer so what i'll do i'll say let's say i do this my while loop runs again it asks me i do this it asks me and now at this point of time i enter history and it says correct you guess the word in three guesses which is right okay so let's address else part now where the user guesses not correct right 
where the user has not guessed the same word and so what we need to do we let's see what we need to do by running the original program so let's say if any um, guess user makes any wrong guesses first of all we need to give this print message to user so let's quickly print this print okay but that's not enough now right we need to also throw a hint to the user by replacing one of the dashes right in the blank underscore word by the letter which is rightly placed at the position okay so if this is a word to be guessed there is this c on the third position of this uh, word so how do we, we make that possible so let's try to understand so we have this blank underscore word right blank underscore word which is eventually the list of dashes right list of dashes and then we have this game underscore word which is actually the word picked from the dictionary and it can be any of these things now game blank underscore word has same number of dashes as game underscore word and what we need to do is we need to get, fetch any letter from game underscore word right and uh, assign it to any um, the dash position at in the blank underscore word for that we need to have the same index so how we should implement this let's try to implement this so first of all we should randomly pick a index let's say I pick uh, int uh, of any index of any game underscore word so how do we pick that we can do that with the help of random dot randint right random dot rend int method from random and then what should be the range of index should be between uh, whatever is the number of words length of word and starting from zero okay so zero comma len of let's say game underscore word minus one right so uh, index is the last index is less than one position remember right so random dot random length is from 0 to len of game underscore word so there is some unexpected indent all right now this is some random index we have picked let's replace a dash now in the blank underscore word and how we can do that if blank underscore word is equal to dash right and only we need to replace it then we will pick this random index which we refer to the element right by passing int and uh, then this suppose this is dash right this is dash this is getting replaced by a letter at the same index in game underscore word right and uh, let's do this print and what we can do again we can do joining right join blank underscore word actually we don't need to do this multiple times we can I'll just show you in the some time how we can have it in just one in one line okay so there is some problem again um, indentation error as I can see it neither aligns with if nor with blank underscore word so run this enter your guess I make a some wrong I make some wrong guess that's not correct let us reveal a letter to help you if blank underscore word int should be here okay so let's run it again so wrong guess let us let let us reveal a letter to help you and then again i run this oh okay i run this enter a wrong guess 
that's not correct let us reveal a letter to help you again a wrong guess and keep on moving like that okay so that's one part um and let me make a right guess also water melon right so correct you guess the word is four guesses perfect this seems to be perfect and even if you move this uh, uh, here right that's also perfect so uh, what we can do we can move simply this print blank word here we don't need to actually use it multiple times this will do let's run it again to check it enter your guess I know the O word is orange, right? So I'll just wrong guess. O, again a wrong guess. And let me enter a correct word, orange. So correct, you guess the word in, three word. Let me just delete all this output. And uh, I know the code is little bit messy uh, and it is not having proper comments. So when you write proper code, you should be having nice comments added to your sections. Okay. Um, so let's move to, to the last part of this game, which is continuing the game. Once the user guesses the right word, we want to ask user whether user wants to continue and then we throw another word like that. So to continually run this game, this whole code from here till here, right? Till the last part should go inside a while loop. And how we can make it inside a while loop? Let's just first indent it by pressing tab and uh, I'll just write one while and uh, let's make a variable let's say playing is equal to true okay so while playing so ideally this loop will run in infinite uh, mode because we are not asking user right so let's first run this and see what happens so enter your guess let's say i guessed um, whatever so it, it goes like that so i guessed correct mango now here correct you guess the word in right then it throws this but it is not asking user whether user wants to play again or not so it's a simple code right we while playing once this all thing is done um, what we will do we will ask user uh, the, we'll come outside of this uh, this uh, uh, child while loop of game thingy and what we will say we will ask user uh, we'll give one variable let's say choice is equal to input um, and do you wish to play again again and uh, why n and uh, let's do it dot lower because we don't know whether user will give capital and on all that stuff so here we have to do simple comparison if choice is is equal to y then then what uh, if choice is uh, equal to y then it's fine but if choice is not equal to y then at this point we will make playing is equal to false right so the code will not proceed so let's give it a final run I'm so happy that our code is complete um, so I give this give something okay file it and correct do you wish to play again and I said yes and it gives me again these letters and um, let me put ball and do you wish to play again no so our code is complete and as i said we can format our code we can add comments to our code this is not a nice looking code not a readable code i know but the purpose was here to just make you understand the concepts and uh, make a complete 
workable solution i and i hope i have met my purpose i really enjoyed uh, walking through this code and i hope you enjoyed and uh, to and learn from me and keep on watching my videos i i'll make sure that you learn from the concepts till the end okay thank you so much bye